Your brain is made up of cells, millions and millions of small cells. Usually in your body, cells are small and round-shaped, but in your brain, they're special. They're thin and long, with really long tails at the end. And those tails are really important, because they connect to different regions within your brain. And that's important, because they have to talk to each other. Your brain is basically a network made up of different regions that have to communicate and talk to each other. And this happens through the thin tails of those tiny cells within your brain. Those connections, or cables we call them, are white matter. And white matter connects different centers of your brain we call gray matter. And gray matter is where everything special happens. That's where your emotions and your feelings and your sensations are being processed. During childhood, not only your body grows, but also your brain. But your brain is special again, because it doesn't only increase in size or become bigger, it also shrinks and becomes smaller. How can that be? Well, it depends on what you do and what you learn during childhood. Your brain is extremely efficient and it only supports and grows those connections and networks that you actually practice. And those connections, like things you do when you play football, those connections are being supported and they grow within your brain. Things you don't learn and you don't do are usually cut away. That doesn't mean you can't learn anything anymore after the age of 12. That's not true. Your brain is very flexible until a very late age. But it becomes more difficult. It's usually easier the younger you are. Also really important, different parts of your brain grow at different speeds. For instance, the parts in the center of your brain that are responsible for your emotions and your feelings, also the oldest parts of your brain, those develop quicker and earlier. While other regions, more like in the front of the brain usually, that are responsible for how you think and how you behave, those are developed later in life. So there's a disbalance. And in our lab, we're really interested in this disbalance between those regions, and that's what we look at.